guys welcome back to another video and today i'll be showing you guys how to merge mods using uh, smithbox now i do think this is significantly harder and a bit more unnecessarily complicated than the video i posted beforehand which is a much simpler and in my opinion better way to merge mods but i figured at least some of you would want to know how to do this because it is a more permanent solution and you can kind of combine your old mod, your own mods and, you know, do whatever you want with them and post them, etc. Which I think is kind of cool. Firstly, you are going to need just two mods. You can only do two at a time, you know, keep that in mind. But of course, you are going to need to have mods that aren't like directly conflicting. Obviously, if you're trying to combine two things that are affecting the same weapon, or, you know, etc. That it's just not going to work. It, it's really not even worth trying because only one of them is going to work after you try to merge them. So today I'm going to be using a very simple one, or two very simple ones. I'm going to be using the Unlock All Graces mod and the, uh, what do you call it, Gamma's Unbound Weapons mod. Now this is pretty simple. Firstly, you are going to need Smithbox, which I think is the only one that works. You, you can try DS Map Studio or Yapped, but I'm pretty sure none of those work anymore, so... I'd stick with Smithbox. In terms of how to download Smithbox, you would have to go to Nexus Mods, search up Smithbox, go here, download, click manual download, and then it's going to give you all these core runtime things. And once they're downloaded, for me, I created a file called the Smithbox file, which is where I put these runtimes. You click on the runtime and then there will be an option to install. And since I already have it installed, I either can uninstall or repair it, which I'm not going to do because it's fine. Basically, there's about three runtimes you need to install. And if it tells you you already have the runtime installed, either from like previous mods, etc., don't worry about it. You don't have to install it. It works fine. So other than that, once that's done, You'll click download you'll get the smithbox file i keep the compressed and the extracted version in here you'll extract it extract all and you'll get this version which is just the file folder go into smithbox go to, you know smithbox thing you do, will type in smith and then the smithbox application will be right here you'll double click on it and it should take you into smithbox i do recommend pinning it to your taskbar or creating some sort of shortcut for it so you can get to it easier. Also, if you want to make mods, like I, I mean, do mean make them, you are going to need to unpack your game using the UXM Selective Unpack, but this isn't really for that video. If you're not trying to make mods, you don't need the unpacker. Only if you're trying to like merge them or like, you know, update them, etc. You don't really need to unpack it, but in my case, I unpacked it for full functionality. Okay, now that we're to the part of the video where you should have Smithbox installed, it's pretty simple. Smithbox will take you through the process, and if I didn't explain it in enough detail, there are other videos, and you know, etc., out there that will tell you how to set up Smithbox. Anyways, what you are going to need to do is to make sure that take either one of the mods. You know, it doesn't really matter which mod you're merging into what but you need to decide which mod you want to put into the other so in this case since the unlock all graces mod is smaller than the gamma's unbound weapons mod i'm going to put that in the gamma's unbound weapons mod so i have to do this work so what you're going to do is you're going to take the bigger of the two at least in my case in terms of how big the mod is you're going to want to take the contents of it you're going to head to wherever your mod engine is, once it's copied or, you know, etc. For me, I have it copied and pasted so I can put it in whenever I need to. You have to head into wherever your uh, mod engine folder is. Let me see if I can't find it here. So, mod, mod engine, and basically right here, 
in the mod folder, we're going to want to copy and paste the contents of, in my case, the bigger of the two mods or whichever mod you think would be better to merge into the other. So once that's done, you are just going to want to close that out and open up uh, Smithbox. I have it down here on my taskbar here for easy accessibility. Now, let's see. Did keep it. So you are going to want to create a project. Uh, I'd say just calling it you know, literally what it is. Anything you can remember or you can associate with that. Let's go like this. And then go to the mod part. Go to mod engine. Then click on the mod folder and select folder. Game executable. That's pretty simple. Just go to your home. Just up Elden. Scroll down until you find this one. This is in all caps, just Elden Ring. Go to game. My game's unpacked, so it looks a little different. Go to the application or the uh, ex executable right here. It should be towards the bottom. Go to import. Go to create. Create. So, once you're here, basically, in terms of what you need to do with this first one, Basically, just save it, you know, make sure it's here and ready because you do need to go back to the first mod here. Then you're going to create another project, which is going to be whatever mod you're trying to merge into this. In my case, it's going to be called All Graces. Now, wherever you store the second mod that you're merging into the initial mod, kind of doesn't matter. As long as it's an extracted folder, it works fine. Doesn't matter wherever you want to store it. So I'm Click on that, unlock all graces, select folder. Obviously, you are going to want to relocate the game executable. Hold Elden Ring. Okay. Elden Ring, game. Elden Ring, exe, import, you know, same as before. Pretty much the same as before. As you can see, uh, you are going to want to type in a modified in the uh, parameter, you're, firstly, you're gonna have to click on the param editor, and then you're going to want to type in the term just modified, and it's going to bring up every line or every you know line of code, I guess you could say, that is modified. So essentially, this is the mod. So it's what you're going to do from there. You're going to copy and paste that into here once you clicked on that mod. And it's going to bring up the modified parts of this mod because not everything in each of the lines is going to be modified. It's just at least one or more things. So in my case, I only have one line over here, but if you're trying to merge anything that's like complicated or a bit bigger, essentially the same process, but it just takes a little longer. So you will have to do this individually for each line you see over here on the left hand side in case you know in my case it's just one so it's quite simple but you, you just repeat the process i'm about to show you as many times as it takes until you have every single one of these on the left under modified you know copy and stuff basically you're going to click on any of them you're going to hold press Control a and it should highlight all of them you're going to want to click on data export modified rows export to file export all fields and you know, store it anywhere, doesn't matter. See, I've already done this quite a few times. You want to call this, you're going to call it whatever this is right here. So it's called the Bonfire Warp Param. Fire Warp Param 2, because I've already done this. Bonfire Warp Param. So save it as whatever the name is. Once that's done, go to Recent Projects and go to the first one you created initially. Like that there. And locate after you are done trying to find this here. Let's see. Bonfire Warp Param 2. I just called it 2 because I already have two of them, but you know, call it precisely what it is. And then look through this list until you find it. So yeah, I found Bonfire War Param. Go to data. Go to import. Go to from file. Go to all fields. 
obviously, you know, find your bonfire warp param, or in, that's in my case, my bonfire warp param. Click on it, and now you can see change color. If it's a green one that like already has stuff in it, it's not gonna change color. But in this case, the bonfire warp paran wasn't altered at all, so obviously it changed. Then we're just going to click save all modified params. Exit, exit, exit. Go to wherever your mod engine is. So in my case, it is right over here to test it out. So I specifically merged two things, which, you know, I've stated multiple times. Gamma's uh, Unbound Weapons, which should be the Ruins Great Sword, the Sword Knight in Flame, and the Dragon's Great Claw, the, uh, you know, altered move sets or alternative move sets, and the Unlock All Graces mod. So I'm in. Unlock all graces mod. That works. I now have every grace in the game. I haven't been to the DLC, but if I did go there, I'd have all of them too, I assume. I know, actually. So basically, which leave quite yet so these are two simple mods so obviously they are going to be more than likely fine but a bit of disclaimer for anyone trying to like merge you know mod packs like uh, clevers or mckenus that utilize you know different models if for some reason you're trying to merge uh, clever like uh, your secondary or the second you know uh what do you call it project you created on smithbox if you're trying to merge clevers into something else's and you repeat this process with all of the CSVs, it might not work. So it, it depends on what you're trying to do here. So let me go to any mod. Let me go to a, like a more complicated mod. So you see all these things that say action, CHR, MSG, you know, parts, SFX. So if you see that it doesn't work, that's because you need these files. Now in terms of how to do that, as long as you know that these two mods are not conflicting, it should work out perfectly fine. Uh, or maybe, sorry, I hit the microphone. It should work out perfectly fine and you shouldn't have a problem at all. So basically, let's go to my Gamma's Unbound here. Oh, well, for example. So let's say, for example, there's like some sort of models in here, you know, etc., that I needed. And, you know, they wouldn't appear when I merged them with Gamma, you know, because, you know, like models weren't in there like special effects weren't in there so basically whatever like of these yellow file folders you see here if it's not over here so you see some cases it's just not there in general it's you see there's an action one here but there isn't one here because this doesn't usually utilize the action folder basically you would take whatever mod you're trying to merge into whatever mod you put in to the mod folder for mod engine and you would copy and paste it into the file directory here for, you know, whatever mod you're using. Or in this case, you would go to the mod folder and you would copy and paste it in here. So, you know, because the mod folder is what you launch mod engine from. So you would put that in there. And as you can see, there's already a CHR folder. So what would you do is you take the contents of this CHR folder, go into this one, and then copy and paste that into the CHR folder. Same with the MSG, it's gonna say Angus, you're gonna copy and paste that. MSG, if it has an MSG, copy, paste, etc. So basically, you know, very simply put, if it doesn't have like action or anything, so in this case, I would just put action in here since so this doesn't have an action folder, but if it has a CHR or if it has something, just take the contents of that and put it into this and then relaunch it and then everything should work out perfectly fine obviously this isn't the best tutorial but in my opinion it it can work out pretty well and i've merged a few mods but when you try to get too complicated with what you're trying to merge it does become more complicated now if you have any questions comments or concerns uh, make sure to comment them or you know etc just ask me on discord 
a lot of ways to contact me and i'll see you in the next video